Hang Seng Tech moves up a whopping 53% in three weeks. Has anything changed? Because this is not the first time that I covered Hang Seng Tech. I think I covered various price levels. And if this time it's up 53% from the low, then has it broken out of the downtrend? I'm going to go through step by step to let you know that this time it might be different. This is a weekly chart of Hang Seng Tech. I like to use the weekly chart to confirm major price movement. Hang Seng Tech is very much heading in a downward movement. So this was that downtrend. And then since about uh, 2022, it has been going into a flattish movement here. This time around, why do I make the remark that is different? Because in order to gauge whether a price movement has strength, price will need to break above the previous high. So let's take a look at each of the high point of Hang Seng Tech. For example, this was a high point here and you realize that price wasn't broken above. Now there's another one more high point here. For example, this is a very obvious high point here. Now price wasn't broken and that's also another one more high here. Now we've seen and rather we have not seen any price breaking above the previous high. So I'm just going to take each of the previous high to see whether there is a break above it. This one here. Well, this high, it didn't break above the previous high. Okay, so that's why that during the May period in 2024, which is this year, right, Hang Seng Tech hit the high point and it starts to reverse uh, lower. The thing that this time, and what is the difference here, right, is that Hang Seng Tech didn't make a lower low. So for example, this was a low and then this was a lower low, right? So when price make a lower low, it does reflect the strength of the bears because bears can make a lower low. So hence the bears, they are stronger. But for a long time, since 2023, Hang Seng Tech hasn't made a lower low. So for example, this low here wasn't a lower low as we compared to the previous low. In fact, that it was a higher low. That means that this low is higher than the previous low. And the recent low that was made during September is also a higher low as compared to this previous low here. And the nice thing was that last week, so this was the last week movement, all right, you can see that last week, price to broke above two highs okay so this suggested strength in the Hang Seng Tech and this week and the, the week hasn't closed yet right but basically we saw that yesterday when Hang Seng moves up on the average right we saw a lot of stocks like Meituan went up like uh, more than 15% or even Hong Kong exchange was near to 15% and a lot of tech stocks was really doing very well so it's moved above the previous high here and the only recent high that it didn't was here right in fact that it attempted to close above this high point here so let me just mark this with a special colored line like a red line here we saw that yesterday there was a bit of an attempt to try to break above this high point here at about 5137 but in fact, that, that wasn't too successful. Now today, there was a bit of a weakness and then this weakness still stay above the high point that I marked, right? Which, which was about 4,830, right? So this suggested that there could be a little bit of a strength coming in for Hang Seng Tech. And this time around, why do I say that Hang Seng Tech price movement is different? It's because that finally, it manages to close above a previous high, which it wasn't able to do so for the past few years all right this time round there are two things to look at number one that must be a weekly close above this level here which is about 5137 that means that at the end of the week it is good to see a weekly close that means for the bar to close above 5137 now why is it necessary because this means that if price is able to close above 5137 then investors are willing to take a higher price risk back with them because remember that anything that can happen during the weekend so they are willing to take that risk back with them second is that if it doesn't close above let's say 5137 and then i need to see that hang Seng tech is closing above 4800 level which is this high here now it can and close above 4800 and subsequently it can continue to hover here because when it does so it means that there is strength for price to probably stay near to the high of the range and potentially later on subsequently if the momentum gathers then there's a chance for a breakout 
If you are interested to participate in the price movement of Hang Seng Tech and without buying directly into the index, because sometimes it can be really expensive to do so, then one option is to use DLCs, which is Daily Leverage Certificates. At this page of UBS, which is an issuer of the LCs, then under the underlying, choose Hang Seng tag. So this will be the Hang Seng tag. And if you are bullish, then choose the daily long and go to search. Here's the three DLCs that's being issued by UBS. And what I usually like to do is to choose those with the icon here, the red color icon, because the red color icon refers to DLCs that requires the least amount of underlying asset change for the DLCs to move by one tick. Now this means that these DLCs are more sensitive. For, for example, the one which is VT6W has a sensitivity of 19.77. So this means that in order for the DLCs to move by one tick, then Hang Seng Tech has to move by about approximately 20 points. Again, if you would like to know more about DLCs, you can click the education page here. But very important is to understand that DLCs is still a leveraged product. And as of all trading a product, right, there will be a risk involved. Do understand whether DLCs is suitable for you.